Hi, I'm Casey and I have a crush on food. And first I want to say that I have over 2,500 views on my channel and I just want to say thank you if you've been watching and tell your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. Okay, so today I have a crush on stuffed poblano peppers. Poblano peppers are one of my favorite peppers, vegetables. They have a smoky flavor when you cook them. They're delicious. And so we're going to roast them and we're going to make a uh, tomatillo sauce and then throw some chicken in the poblanos and cover it in cheese. It's going to be good and healthy. So tomatillos you can find in the produce section of your supermarket and they have this husk on them. They look like green tomatoes. Um, so you have to remove the husk and then uh, go ahead and wash them really good. So once you've done that, get a, a medium saucepan, put uh, about a pound of tomatillos in here and you just need like an inch of water. Um, and then you're going to boil these once it's boiling about six minutes, you're going to let them boil. So while these are on the stove boiling, um, go ahead and stick four good sized poblano peppers in the oven on broil and I've kind of just coated them with some olive oil and I just put them on a piece of foil. So I'm going to let the tomatillos boil, I'm going to let the poblano peppers roast and we'll continue with the recipe when they're done. Alright so the next step is to make the sauce for um, with the tomatillos. My poblanos are done and they're in there about eight minutes on broil and when the skin starts to blister, you can see it on the inside. So um, you can go ahead and just peel any skin that's easy to peel off, off of the poblanos. Um, but if you don't get it all, that's totally cool. You don't have to take it all off. All right, so for the sauce, um, take your tomatillos, your whole ones that you've heated, and just place them in a blender along with a little bit of water that's left in the pan and about a quarter cup of cilantro and a few garlic cloves, two or three. You can also put a serrano pepper in here, a fresh serrano pepper that um, is seeded. Take off the stem and take out the seeds um, and it would give it a little bit of a kick. And then like a quarter teaspoon of salt, or however much you want, kind of up to you. So just blend this up and we'll be done with the sauce part. Alright, so I'm just going to let this sit over here. And I'm going to work on the poblanos. I'm going to peel them. I'm going to slice them in half and get all the seeds out and then we're going to stuff them with the chicken and sauce and some cheese. Alright, so my poblanos are ready to get stuffed. I have them here in this small baking sheet. If you have a small poblano, just leave it whole. Uh, one of these was kind of big so I cut it in half. And try to get all the seeds out. The seeds, if you get one uh, while you're eating it, it's going to wake you up for sure. It's got some spice in it. So, I mean, if you want to lighten things up, you could leave a few seeds in there, see who gets one. But um, they will uh, be spicy. So, I'm going to mix the chicken now. I have about two and a half cups of chopped cooked chicken. And this recipe is great because you can use chicken, leftover chicken from the day before. Or if you like to make a lot of chicken at once and use it for different things, perfect. Um, I have chicken breasts here, but you can use a mixture of white meat and dark meat, or you can just use dark meat, it's up to you. So in here I'm going to put half of our sauce, which is a little less than a cup. I'm going to put a fourth of a cup of chopped cilantro. And I'm going to put about three-fourths cup of shredded cheese. And you can use any kind. I have a Mexican blend here, but... Um, you can use cheddar, you could use Monterey Jack, it's up to you. We're going to use the rest of the cheese on the top. Alright, so stir this up. 
and coat all the chicken with the sauce. And then um, we'll stick it up with peppers. like poblano peppers, you could definitely make this recipe with um, green bell peppers, red bell peppers. You don't have to use the poblanos. So just use a spoon and, and fill up the peppers with your chicken. Stuff those peppers, so with the rest of the green sauce, just kind of evenly Pour it over the chicken, and then we'll top it with the rest of the cheese. And we're going to bake this at 350 degrees for as long as it takes for the cheese to melt. I like my cheese kind of bubbly and brown, so, you know, everything's in here is cooked, so it might take about 15 minutes or so. Maybe less. My poblanas are done. The cheese is melted. This is a great healthy meal for your family. It's fresh, especially because we made the tomatillo sauce ourselves. So I hope you try my stuffed poblano peppers.